Let's write a program that calculates the tip. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my notepad. And I got my HTML uh, header. And I'll say title and then tip calculation. Slash title, slash head. And then my body, in my body, in the HTML page. Okay, so now I'm going to ask him for the amount of the um, dinner, maybe, or just the amount, I guess. Um, not dinner amount. Okay, and then I'll have input type equals text. I need to give it a name, so ID is equal to um, D amount uh, for dinner amount. And then I'll have a line break, and then I'll say um, uh, tip percent, and input type equals um, text, and then ID equals uh, tip. Okay, line break, and then I'm going to have my button. So I'll say input type equals button, and value equals calculate. Calculate. There we go. And I'll put the code in back in there in a minute. And I'm going to return that um, to, uh, to uh, another text box. So I'm going to say um, uh, tip percent. Okay, tip amount is going to equal to. And. Um, tip amount and then I'll do my um, uh, input type equals text ID equals uh, tip amount the T amount and um, then I'll do another line break and uh, I'll put total here that'll be our dinner amount plus tip amount so I'll say input type equals text, ID equals total. Let's see what that looks like. And then we'll put the code behind it. Okay, so I'll save that. I'm going to change the all, save as type to all files. And I'll say tip calc uh, .html. Okay, so I'll come over here, right click on tip calc, and I'll say open with Google Chrome. Okay, that yeah, looks like what I was planning. Look a little bit bigger so you can see it. You can put these into tables, you can um, uh, use your style to center, to right align, whatever you want. Uh, you can change colors even. Um, I'm not sure if I remember how to change a color. I think it's BG color. Background color equals um, beige. Let's try that. See if I remember correctly. Okay, so we can change that. So you can make it look a little bit better. Okay, so in my button for calculate, this is where I put my code at. And I'm going to program the on click. So on click equals, and then I'll be, put my double quotes. And I'll say, um, what am I bringing in? Uh, dinner amount. So dinner amount equals, and then I'll say um, parse to float. Hopefully I got the, um, the case right on that. And um, it's not to float, parse float. Okay, and then, I'll, then inside of here, uh, I'm going to refer to the document dot get element by ID. Let's see, is D capitalized? Uh, no, I don't think so. And then um, the amount dot value. Close parentheses on a parse float, semicolon in the line. And then um, I'm going to bring in my tip uh, percent, so tip percent equals parse float document dot get element 
by ID, and this is tip dot value. Now what I'm referring to, parse flow just convert into a number we can use with decimals. But when I refer to this D amount and tip, I'm referring to the ID of the uh, input, um, the text input. Okay. Now I got those, I can calculate. So the um, uh, tip amount, so tip amount is going to equal to dinner amount times tip, tipper percent, tip percent, tip percent. Tipper, tip percent, tip percent. You know, that's pretty easy to get confused, isn't it? A lot of people like to use underscores. You don't want to use spaces. Spaces don't work. But you definitely can use underscores to help separate it to make it a little bit easier to read. Now that says tip percent. What we want is tip percent. I'm just tired. <laughs> that's why I got that one wrong. Okay, there, tip percent. And then times tip percent here and since uh, per, I wanted percent to be in decimal I'll change that to divide by 100 then semicolon and then uh, my total amount is going to equal to uh, dinner amount plus tip amount semicolon ends the lines and then I want to write it out to these text boxes so I'll say document dot get element by ID and tip amount dot value is equal to tip amount and document dot get element by ID of um, total dot value is equal to total amount. And I want to close that uh, off, uh, the on click with the double quote, and then save that. And let's see how close I am, see what kind of errors I have. So I come over here, refresh, uh, let's say the dinner amount was $80, and I'm going to tip 5%. So I put 5 in there. And click calculate. 10% um, of $80 would be $8, so 5% would be $4. And that appears to be working. So let's try some decimals. 90.32 and uh, I want to tip 7.2 percent and click calculate okay and you see it uh, gives us quite a few decimal places doesn't it um, later on we'll talk about how you can uh, round on those but uh, for now we'll just leave that as is and 10 percent let me just check it check another number I'm sure of nine dollars and 32 cents um, if I add those together, interesting, look at that, I get some numerical approximation that, uh, or numerical error that occurs, but that's okay, like I say, for now we're not going to worry about that, uh, but it appears like our, our program is working, but let me explain it a little bit more now, okay, it's all based on these IDs, so dinner amount, tip so we bring those in dinner amount and tip we do a parse float to change both of them to numbers and we assign them to variables a variable called dinner amount and tip percent then this will take dinner amount times tip percent and divide by 100 and then it'll assign that value to tip amount that's our variable then down here it'll add dinner amount plus tip amount together right here and I'll assign that to total amount and then you want to write those back out to the text boxes and we're referring to this right here T amount and total and you see I'm referring to T amount here and total we don't need to do a parse float all we need to do is say dot value equals to the variable name and that works but that's our uh, tip uh, program